Hey, it's Danny from Coaches Calisthenics here, and I'm here with my lovely girlfriend, Nock, Hello. which you may have seen before if you've been watching my previous videos, but if you're new to the channel, then you wouldn't have. And I made a video with her before asking about how she says lean all year round about dieting. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link for that video up above, and you can go and check it out. So in this video, I want to be asking Nock about her own personal journey with a vegan ketogenic diet, which I announced recently, I did for 30 days, talked about my whole story and all the ups and downs and mm -hmm. pros and cons and everything. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link for that up above. And yeah, you decided to jump on the bandwagon with me and you didn't actually jump on board with the keto diet, the vegan keto diet when I did, no, correct? No, I, I think I did after you, um, almost about a week. Yeah. Yeah. And how long did you roughly do the vegan ketogenic diet for? I think about 14 days, as we remember, and yeah, roughly like two weeks. Yeah. And yeah. um, what actually made you want to experiment with the vegan ketogenic diet? <laughs> because I, well, first I was not interested because I see how uh, rustic of the food and the diet and I'm not, I don't, I don't feel like desire to and but I see you have like you did lost some water weight and you look more lean and you as you told me you have more energy throughout the day which is I can see that as well and I see that it's like okay maybe I'll I may as well try because like it's you know it's not gonna hurt me like it seems yeah interesting for me to try yeah which could be yeah. understandable when you're seeing so yeah. positives happening somewhere around yeah. you it's like why not give yeah. it a go and also I think like I want to it's not like I want to lose like weight, but I want to look more lean for sure. And I want to have feel lighter, light throughout the day, so I have like more energy to do things. Because sometimes, on a normal like high carbs or vegan diet, where I just eat whatever I want, mostly I eat whole food. But sometimes I could feel heavy in my body in the morning or throughout the day where I just ate and things like that. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. you especially wanted to lose some water weight around your yeah. midsection, even though you're yeah. very slim. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, you're training with me on a regular basis while I'm training yeah. you. She's yeah. wanting to build muscle. Yeah, yeah. And I think like this this keto, vegan keto diet might help me lose water weight or, yeah, that around that area that, that I want quicker and I can see the results alongside with training. Yeah, okay, so Susan yeah. talk about the weight. What was your starting weight, roughly? Uh, 46, about 46, yeah. Yeah, 46 kilos, kilos not yeah, pounds, obviously. Yeah, kilos, yeah. Um, and then, what did your weight go down to and within what time frame, roughly? Uh, let's say about like six or seven days, which is that the result is really quick for me. I didn't expect that. I was really happy about it. And the the weight had gone down to the, how do you say, the lightest of me was 43.4 kilos yes yeah, so yeah, yeah. So, so you lost quite a bit of water yeah. weight in a short period of time yeah. and did you actually yeah and that was it yeah like she said that was not the lightest obviously the lowest weight she went down to yeah. and so, did you rather than just seeing the weight go down on a scale did you also notice a difference in your appearance when looking at it visually yeah, like I can see like this section, like my, my stomach uh, is more lean, like especially in the morning, it's... Way, way flatter rather than yeah, rounder like, and more bloated looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah, sometimes yeah, you get flat. stuck with words because obviously she's Thai, so <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes good to help her. Thanks, um, yeah, yeah it's, it looks flatter than it's supposed to be and then I go on and, and weight myself and it's... Yeah, it's actually I, I weigh less than I used to, so the the result was very very surreal for me because I didn't expect it to be. Yeah. You know, my weight would go down that quick. Oh, my 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 stomach would look so much flatter in like a week or less than a week, even from this diet. Yeah. So, yeah. would you recommend it for people, especially that are wanting to lose weight, especially people that have excess body fat? Yeah, from I'll your say, experience? yeah, I should should give it a try, see if it fits you or not. For me, if it was not about like the food or this really being a restrict diet, I would keep go, uh, go on and doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And when she's saying sure. restrict diet, she means restrictive diet, just yeah. in case anyone wants. Yeah. And when you stopped eating the keto diet, 
how long did it take for you to gain the additional water weight back? Cause, and what diet did you switch <laughs> back to? So well, they know. well, I switched back to um, eating normal um, whole food plant-based vegan food. And it takes me only like two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so quick. And I was like, no, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's okay because it's not like It's okay. You... It's not. It's not like I'm not. I'm not disappointing. I'm not pressure myself into. You know, I'm, I don't have that f uh, feelings about it around it. I just like wow. It's so. It's crazy to see that once you go back and eat like high carbs or put carbs uh, sugar into your body, or you know, you gain more of that. Yeah, because yeah. uh, a lot of people aren't aware, it's carbohydrates, they hydrate you. So this is why people lose yeah. so much weight early on in the ketogenic diet and then your weight starts to get slower with the weight loss. And obviously, yeah, she's not necessarily thinking, oh, I want to eat a diet to lose weight. So, mm -hmm. But with people that want to lose a weight, lot of weight, then it's going to be more appealing for them to stick yeah, to this diet. Yeah, I would recommend diet. that for people that like want to lose weight weight in kind of like in a, in a short period of time yeah, yeah. and Helps. did you notice any other benefits when you was getting benefits besides the weight loss yeah. um, i don't see well not for me really like i with the energy wise like for you you say that you have so much more energy throughout the day the majority of the time, majority yeah. of the time. well i feel less heavy for sure, in my body, um, but I'm not like, whoa, like my energy does not go up, like, you know, much more. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I can remember some things that you probably can't remember because I'm always analyzing things and really storing all these things in my head and really Maybe, taking yeah, note of things. Yeah. Is early on, until I got sick, because I got really sick on the vegan ketogenic diet, we I talked sick. about that. I got food poisoning and she got it, but she didn't get no near as bad as me. She mm. wasn't vomiting or anything like that. I talk about that more in a video of my experience with that up above. Yeah. But up until that point, I remember you was having the same effects as me, where you would eat the first meal in the middle of the day, because she was combining this with intermittent fasting, yeah. by the way, as well, like she normally does with any other diet. Yeah. Um, is that you were saying you felt full for so long and so satiated, literally, you wouldn't normally eat for like five to six hours after mm -hmm. the first, well, smoothie bar, I think it was you normally having, wasn't it, to break the fast? Yeah, we had smoothie, the yeah, high fat smoothie. Yeah. I don't did. know if you remember that or not. I don't know. But you were saying, I feel so full Actually, for so yeah. long. Actually, well, yeah, I, I do feel full in, in my body, but do, do I feel satiated? Sashi no, I don't. Because I don't, it's, I, I don't like, and don't necessarily like like no, the fat that I eat. Well, I would say what you're saying is different. So satiated is where you feel full for so long so you have no other desire for food. I think okay. you're more meaning. Not when you say satiation, me. you're more like it's not so appealing the food you no. eat. So it wasn't so dopamine releasing. Yeah. It's so such no, an enjoyable, yeah. gratifying. Yeah, I just eat to just you know get over it. So I feel full. I I get what I need from that. Yeah, and keep my ketone. Ketosis. ketosis, yeah, same, yeah, yeah. being in a state of ketosis, your body's producing ketones. Yeah. So yeah, that was. Yeah, was it? I don't think there's any other benefits. Was there? No, for me the most, uh, yeah, that I can see the most is the the weight loss and yeah, that I feel and look more lean. Yeah. yeah, and but prior you and didn't have any health gone. issues or symptoms. No, all, like so. I don't, I don't, I don't have like a strong like I would say like goals to 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 experience this this diet. I just do it because I I see Danny doing it, so I, it's just look appearing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that and time, but yeah. Yeah, and that's it. If anyone that's on any diet, your reasons for doing it need to be big enough to actually to, stick yeah. to it. Then you will. So hers wasn't necessarily big enough. Yeah. And what about? The cons, and you can say the negatives. What negatives did you notice psychologically, especially? Well, we go on to yeah, that first. Me, well, it's very, <laughs> it's very boring because like you have to all. There's this only like limited ingredients or stuff that you can eat on this diet. And, and a vegan diet's already restricted. Yeah, enough. <laughs> like if you eat, if you eat me, if you eat me, so you know, on vegan, I bet there's a plenty and abundance of like stuff you could eat, you can think of, but on this diet is difficult and you can't have fruit or any shirt form or carbs so like rice and noodles and I love eat rice and noodles because I'm Asian so 
yeah that's a big issue for me or even like yeah anything desserts and then i have to come up with like because sometimes we could get home and i have to make the well pretty much high almost all fat, the time low, yeah. like no carbs at all food and i have to come up with no different you know different day like danny can eat fried vegetable every day stir fried vegetables and what, what do you have and hummus and we and have things on like everything yeah. so you just throw like more fat more fat in your dishes but like for me it's just like oh i because my passion is like cookings and you know creating food and recipe and things like that i i can't do that i want to i want to make i want to enjoy cooking every day and do different new things every day and like at some point it gets tiring and i have to come up with you know high fat no carbs recipe yeah like and for carbs, dessert yeah. as well like i try a lot of vegan keto recipe for dessert and cookies and things like that but it's not I'm not satisfied with that yet, so yeah. Yeah, because Noki more... is very different to me. And this is, like, this, it's, it's all fine, it's like this, but <laughs> I can, on the keto diet, I can just keep eating the same thing over and over and over again. She wants to experiment with things, she owns a restaurant, she's highly creative, she's very like, more in the, you could say, the feminine creativity side. So she can keep eating the same things, and then she's getting bored I of do. the foods. Mm. And then lots of times she's experimenting with making things without looking at recipes online and then it would go wrong. <laughs> and then I get upset. <laughs> yeah, and you just wasn't, like, it, making the savoury food was fine, but she started trying to make cookies and other things yeah. and she would make a lot of mistakes and it was just a lot more overwhelming for you mentally because you're not used yeah. to preparing food in that way and making yeah. it that way. Yeah, like I say, it's a much, it's limited, much more ingredient or stuff that you can have on this diet. So it's just like start from like zero. Like I, it's more, it's like I learn baking or cooking again. And what else? And um. And I would say you are just someone yeah. that loves sugary stuff. You love carb stuff. Well, I I <laughs> eat because it satisfies me like emotionally, but like Wait, it's a pleasurable experience. It's pleasurable, yeah, not yeah emotionally, but it's yeah it's pressure and like yeah everything the way i present my food the way it tastes you know because that's how i it's what i do for a living as well it has to be like yeah my where a level that i need it to be yeah and i would say yeah. even though you're on a vegan diet which most people say restrictive is there's so many foods to eat when you just eat a vegan diet when you can eat anything and that's what you've been used to but i wouldn't say you have any experience with actually sticking to a very restrictive specific diet no. where there's not a lot of food I you can eat for an extended period of yeah. time. No. Um, it's the first time in my life I've done this. So yeah, she has different experience with diets compared to me. So it's the most restricted diet she's ever been on. And how did you feel about the fats when you keep keep eating them off? Like when it was near to quitting, how did you feel about eating this way every single day? I'm sick of it. I just don't want like, I just, yeah, I felt, I, I feel like, I don't, I'm not happy eating this food, you know, and like, why am I doing it? Like, um, I don't want to develop like unhealthy, um, relationship with food and where I just, I just feel sick from, to see it or eating it or the feeling that it's in my, you know, my body. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So it just started to become a negative just thing like, for yeah, you mentally. Yeah, I don't want to form it to be like in a negative way. Yeah, mentally me. and emotionally. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the main reason. That's like number one reason that I quit this diet is because of that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I say it to anyone, any diet yeah. you're doing, you need to make sure that it's not affecting you mentally, emotionally, in a negative way. Because you're not going to get the full benefits yeah. from it. Your mind yeah. has such an effect on your diet. I just don't want to have more avocado or coconut milk. <laughs> or coconut oil. Well, I love coconut oil, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is understandable. Everyone finds things affect them differently. Um, yeah. And after after I quit and I go back to eat the normal um, diet uh, diet that I did before, which is like high carb, vegan, whole food stuff. I feel yeah, I do feel much better. When you say you felt much better, what In changes from, did you notice when you switched, except for gaining more weight back or water weight? Like, well, emotionally, it's, I feel more satisfied, it's more pl pl pleasurable for me. Uh, that's it, I'm just like happy. I just go yeah, back to like, and so I just love, I can eat everything and I'm just happy. Yeah, she, she, yeah. she reminds me of and a I child, think. not in a negative <laughs> way at all, but it's just like she wants the most 
gratifying, pleasurable, stimulating food possible that's yeah, just like so yeah. sweet in that. And it's very important for me. Yeah. Because that what I just love and do like just like my passions in yeah. my life. Yeah. Well, and, and you just like things to be as pleasurable as possible. And when we eat certain foods, it releases dopamine. She yeah, likes sure. the dopamine release uh, yeah, from it, which can that. then actually, well, was definitely, yeah, making you feel better emotionally and mentally. Yeah. Especially yeah. because you weren't in this box where it's like, oh, I want all these things yeah, and I can't we, have them. When we, I'm on this side all the time, we drive somewhere, we go to a restaurant, or we, there's like a dessert, like this display on the fridge, like, oh, I want this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which, yeah, I noticed that a lot. She kept saying she wanted this and that and that and that. And I'm like, I yeah. don't have any interest at all. But like I said, I've been on restrictive diets before. This is something that people need to be aware yeah, of. Yeah, it's probably easier for you. And I've done a yeah. lot of inner work around t my food habits and stuff like that before so it's definitely easier for me to stick to yeah, the diet and I've eaten a fruit only diet before and that's yeah, way more restrictive yeah, than a vegan that, keto that's, diet. Yeah that's the thing like I don't have any problem with my eating habit I don't have any problem before so I don't want to start to form this kind of like relationship or this feeling with with food because of this yeah. you know so I, that's why I'm like okay that's the time that I, I quit this because I can start seeing I know my soul I know how I feel yeah. and I just do what my heart tell me and my yeah. body tell me to do. So I think a good question to ask is because you're saying you like a lot of sugary foods and yeah. you yeah. wanted to stop eating keto because of all these different reasons and it may just be my own perception but would you eat any types of foods at all that are making you feel bad. If you knew they were making you feel bad, would you continue to eat them or would you stop eating those foods and only stick to certain foods that feel make you feel good? Yeah, I wouldn't eat anything that make my body feel bad. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. do you so you do listen. You don't just go, Oh, I want yeah, all these high carb foods and yeah, even though no. they make me feel like crap, yeah. I still eat them. Even when I, when you eat them, of course when you eat like unhealthy, like sugary, you you feel good then to your taste buds and everything, but Afterward, you, you you have to be aware and notice your body. What does your body tell you? This, you yeah. know, it's make you feel bloating or you feel sick after it. Then, yeah, it's make you aware Yes, yeah, so you are in tune with your body. Yeah. And you do have self-control. When you know something's good, not yeah. good to do it, you will. Yeah. And another thing I'd like to ask you is, how was your digestion on the vegan ketogenic diet throughout the whole experience? And then how did it change once you went back to a high-carb diet? Was it worse on the high-carb diet or worse on the keto diet? Well, the ketogenic diet, it's a little bit tricky because I better have uh, difficult dig my digestion, my bowel would be like not as smooth yeah so a bit constipated yeah or else it will be just like diarrhea <laughs> so yeah see <laughs> it's not consistent you know it's like yeah yeah it wasn't the same every day it was yeah. up and down yeah yeah that's why yes as well but when i'm on the um no high carb vegan diet it's just normal like i always have like i quite have quite optimal digestion i don't have like Issue. Yeah, I think yeah. if I remember correctly, I think it was about two days or so, and it's like going yeah, back when to I go normal. back, yeah, and my weight I gained the weight back as well from thirty three, and then I go back to like forty five now. Actually, less. Actually, I wear it now. It's less than I was. Yeah. I start from forty six now. I just stay forty five, forty five point five. Okay, so yeah, you're still so keeping it, some of yeah. the water weight off then. Yeah. Okay, and that was good. I don't know when you stopped. It was quite a while ago yeah, now. Like, oh, it's more than two weeks. Yeah, more yeah, than two weeks two, ago yeah. or so. Um, yeah. So yeah, you obviously can keep some of the weight loss benefits afterwards, and obviously, yeah. If you, yeah, if are you definitely. are you eating loads of food on the high carbohydrate diet now? Like loads and loads and loads of calories. How are you eating with this way that you're now eating? You still, yeah. I will eat. I I do I do eat like whole food, a lot whole food. Like I do eat before, but sometimes I want to eat pizza. I would. Oh, like some some you can say junk food vegan but it's not totally unhealthy it's not like I go and eat like some deep fry stuff and <laughs> like super like white sugary stuff you know yeah well you just had a white sugar frappe <laughs> that's an exception yeah it's a white sugar here and there <laughs> um, but yeah she's eating quite healthy most of the time and you're definitely not eating a lot of calories that's why she's definitely keeping the weight off this is what I was trying to ask her but she's not sort of understanding me fully 
She uh -huh. isn't, she's still eat, not eating that many calories at all. So this no. is why she's still sustaining some of the weight loss benefits from the keto yeah. diet. She's not going on this binge and eating loads no. and loads of calories I, I and am, so I much food. I am food. someone that can't eat a lot in one sitting. I think I have like a small stomach. It cannot take too much food. Like I would feel full so quick from a small, you know, portion. Yeah, well, and you've never really had a big meal sizes in your whole life. So that's no. what you're used to Yeah. as yeah. well. So after having this experience with the vegan ketogenic diet, do you think you'll ever try it again in the future? No. No, definitely not. Yeah, like she so says, she has no reason to. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I know uh, what it's like. And, yeah. and your digestion's flawless on this diet you're yeah. now on? Yeah. How has like, your health and everything got any health issues, symptoms? No, I don't have any health issues, symptoms. I feel fine. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and she gets yeah. to be more creative because she gets to make yeah, loads of foods that she's used to. Yeah, that is that. one thing as well when I'm on a keto diet. And I want to, because I constantly create with recipe and idea for the food for a restaurant and just like trying different things. There's one thing I was worried or concerned at first on this keto diet. I was like, if I'm making something for my restaurant, and it's not keto, obviously. Ooh, I can't eat it. I can't taste it. You know, yeah. and it just limited my, yeah. you know. Yeah, and it's not like you're gonna go. As well and things like yeah, that. Yeah, there so. isn't any need for any of the foods you make to be vegan keto. It's not like there's a niche for it here or anywhere you make foods. <laughs> no. No. And last but not least, would you ever recommend this diet to anyone else? And if you was going to recommend it to someone, what type of people would you recommend this diet to? Well, definitely people that want to lose weight, for sure. It's, the result is, is very amazing. In a short period of time as well, you can, you can see that you do lose weight and water weight in your body. Um, yeah, and if you that someone that can stick to eat you know this this certain type of food every day because i know there's not much choices for for you but well yeah. definitely more choices than what we have here in thailand most people here are watching in america so they have way more food choices than us mm. it'd be definitely easier yeah and some stuff like like danny have to order from some america and things like that so that's one thing that kind of i can i'm aware of it now it's a bit more difficult as well yeah yeah. Yeah, I definitely yeah. say it's one of the most challenging cooked vegan diets out there that you can Ever. possibly yeah. eat. Yeah. If you have like ex if you can be able to access to these like, you know, uh high fat vegan ingredients, I recommend doing it if you have a desire to lose weight and yeah. you know you have issue around that. Yeah. Yeah, or if you're trying to get some other benefits that a ketogenic diet can yeah. give you. That's yeah. what I'd say. So yeah. yeah. Sure. To make sure you have a big enough reason why, like I said, she didn't have a big enough reason why. She's feeling good from the way she's eating now, so it makes sense to just keep eating yeah. this way. Yeah, I just want to try it because it seems like a fun experiment to do yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think a good thing for people to really take away from this is do what she does is listen to your body as much as possible. You don't yeah, necessarily need to switch this type of diet. Yeah. Do intuitive eating. Yeah. Yeah. Because our bodies know best. As yeah. long as you're listening to the right desires for foods that are going to make you feel good. If it's just desires things that make you feel like crap, then obviously you shouldn't listen to that. No. Well, yeah, listen to your body and eat and be balanced and your body will, will tell you like yeah that your body want to eat this way or not yeah and know? it will tell you whether something affects you badly or not you can yeah it will tell you overnight levels. like yeah your energy yeah. levels your mood you wake up in the morning how do you feel how's your digestion everything yeah yeah that's obvious yes yeah. to yeah and should you be in, in a process of elimination where you try out certain things see if they work don't remove them if they do then continue to eat them mm -hmm. at least that's what i would like to add so yeah, that's it for this video. If you like the video, like down below, give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out our Instagram, you can. I'll mm -hmm. put a link down below for that. And yeah, please share this video with anyone else you think you would love to, well, who would love to hear about her experience with the ketogenic diet, more specifically the vegan ketogenic diet for around two weeks. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on specific subjects such as the vegan ketogenic diet, the high carb vegan diet, calisthenics mm -hmm. workout and progression videos, weight loss videos, fitness, general videos, and many other videos to help you go in the direction to achieve the body side, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. I've managed to, and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those results and sustain them in the short term and long term as well. And yeah, 
I'm glad we're at the end of this video because it's like a sauna and I am absolutely it's so hot. sweating. But I do like sauna, so getting a free <laughs> sauna at the same time, you know, we have the aircon in on yeah. and it's in the middle of the day, so it's very hot with no aircon on and the windows closed. Yeah. But it's all good. It's definitely worth it for this video. And if you like more videos like this, let us know down below. We definitely make more like this in the future. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.